good morning students my name is pravesh shankar from nc department at chitral engineering college today i am going to discuss about the examples of convolution and correlation in yesterday class also we discussed about the some of the examples related to the convolution and the graphical representation for the continuous time series graphical representation of the continuous time signals uh, today we are going to discuss about the few more uh, convolution examples uh, with the disk time signals the disk time signal so yesterday we completed this one in the procedure what we have to follow to fa find the convolution by using the graphical representation first of all you can take the x of t is a first function where an independent variable t is replaced by the dummy variable tau why we are replace the t by the tau means in the formula itself uh, the x of tau x of t minus tau is there and the second point is uh, y of minus tau is a mirror image of y of tau that is y of tau is flipped nothing but folded function and third point y of t minus tau represents the function of uh, y of minus tau shifted to the right by t seconds shifted to right by t seconds so add the t here the zero minus infinite to the infinite okay this will go on and shifting towards the right side for the folded function my students for the folded function for a particular value of t is equal to a the integration of product x of tau y of a minus tau represents the area under the product curve the area under the product curve after finding out the shifting values of y of t minus tau and x of tau sum of all the terms sum of all the terms is equal to the a particular value of t is equal to a the integration of product of x of tau and y of a minus tau represents the area under the curve and fifth point is the procedure is repeated for the different values of the t for negative values of t the function y of minus tau is shifted to the left by t seconds and the value of convolution of time at different values of t that is a positive and the negative okay you have to follow these points uh, to find out uh, the graphical representation of uh, two signals uh, to find out the convolution okay and this example is already seen already we discussed in the yesterday's class now you can see the graphical representation for the discrete time signal determine the response of uh, determine the response of linear time invariant system whose input uh, x of n and impulse response h of n are given by x of n is given 1 2 3 and 1 and h of n is given 1 2 1 and minus 1 and arrow mark is also represented by this when arrow mark is represented it means the value is at n is equal to 0 and here also n is equal to 0 previously that is n is equal to minus 1 and n is equal to 0 n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 all right without arrow mark also the starting value is n is equal to 0 this is n is equal to 0 And here the n is equal to zero, and this one is n is equal to minus one. Okay, and this one one two. So input sequence starts at n is equal to zero, and impulse response starts at the n is equal to minus one. The output sequence starts at n is equal to zero plus minus one. Whatever the left indices, we call it as a left indices of x of y. Because of y of n is equal to having x of n with the convolution of h of n. What is the leftmost indices? The lowest value. The lowest value of x value is a zero, and the lowest value of n h of n is a minus one. So that is the sum of these values. Is the lowest value of y of n. So minus one is the lowest value for y of n. Is a zero for y of y and uh, h of n is a minus one. Y of n is the lowest value is minus one. And what is the highest value? Is a zero, one, two, three. 
but 3 is uh, x of n and h is 0, 1, 2, plus 2. So total sum is a 5, that 5 is the highest value of y of n, y of n. So totally how many samples is there? Minus 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the samples we have in the y of n. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 samples we have. But this here, the four samples are there, and here these are four samples. Totally, the samples we get as from minus one to the five. Minus one to the five. And where we have to keep the value is at minus one and the zero. The arrow mark is at the zero. Okay, the zero value. Let us see the x of n is given. x of n is a 0, it is a 1, 1 is a 2, and 2 is a 3, and 3 is a 1. And h of n is a minus 1 is a 1, 0 is a 2, and the 1 is a 1, and the 2 is a minus 1. Here the 2 is there, here the minus 1. First of all, what is the first step it is here? Second value, the x of n, you can keep it as a same folded function of the x of uh, h value, h of minus m. The folding is occurs at the 2. Folding is occurs at the 2, 0, my dear students. At the 0, there is a value is a 2. So, what? positive values will get in the negative values and negative values goes in the positive values. So, 1 is at minus 1 and uh, minus 1 is at the minus 2 and minus 1 now it will get at the 1. So, h of minus 1 h of minus 1, when n is equal to minus 1, when n is equal to minus 1, y of minus 1 here, sum of n is equal to minus infinity infinite, x of m, h of uh, minus 1 minus m, minus 1 and the minus m. So shifting towards the right side, when whenever you can add the values of uh, t there, here you can take it as a n because it is a discrete time function, okay. And goes on shifting the value and multiply with the x of n. What is the value of y of minus 1, minus 2 and so on, okay. So, I will explain here. Given 1, 2, 3, 1. 1, 2, 3, 1 and 1, 2, 1, minus 1. So the x of n given 1, 2, 3, 1 and h of n given 1, 2, 1, minus 1. Okay, you have to find out the x of n and the h of n. Following my students. So, x of n graphical representation. Here, the arrow mark is at 1 and the arrow mark is at the 2. Arrow mark means n is equal to 0. At n is equal to 0, the value of x of n is a 1. x of n. Okay. This varies with respect to the n. And 1 is a 2, and 2 is a 3, and again 3 is a 1. Okay, my dear students. The H of N graphical representation is at 0, the value is a 2, minus 1 is a 1. And 1 is 1 and at the 2 minus 1. Where is value? So h of n. Now at the first step, we have to see that h of minus 1 folded function. Folded function. 
h of minus n h of minus n okay my dear students at the folded we'll get at the zero there is no any change at the zero it is two only minus one whatever the value in the one we'll get in the minus one and at minus two whatever the value is there in the two we'll get it here in the minus two minus one and now the minus one it is in the get in the positive real axis at one is also the one so h of minus n okay means at n is equal to zero this value at n is equal to zero y of zero is equal to y of zero is equal to the sum of uh, n is equal to minus infinite infinite uh, not the n minus students it is uh, k the formula for the discrete time functions uh, x of k h of uh, n minus k at n is equal to zero n is equal to zero means uh, here is a value you can keep first of all is a uh, n n minus two so n is equal to zero the value is y of zero is equal to sum of uh, k equal to minus infinite infinite x of k h of uh, zero zero minus k is equal to sum of uh, k equal to minus infinite infinite x of k h of minus k so i'm taking here the n as a dummy variable with the k and n here also the dummy variable with k so you can multiply these two and add the sum so in this x of n observe here the minus 1 is a 0 minus 2 is a 0 now i can multiply the values so on at minus 2 the 0 into minus 1. So 0 into minus 1 plus plus and at minus 1 we have the 0. x value is a 0. 0 into what is the value of uh, h of minus n is a 1. 1 plus and at the 0 x of n value is a 1 and at the 0 the h of minus n is a 2. So, 1 into 2 plus and at 1, at 1, at 1, the x of n value is a 2 into, what is the value at 1? The value is a 1 plus and at the 3, see the 3 value. So, 3 and not the 3, 2. At the 2, the value is a 3. And here the 2 is a 0. 2 is 0 and 3 is 0 here. So 0 plus and at the 3 the value is a 1 and here the 0. 1 into 0. So simply wherever the n values n is equal to minus 2 to the n is equal to 3, you can multiply and add the values. See the first two terms is a 0. Third term is a 2, fourth term is a 2, and fifth and sixth is also 0. 1 into 2, 2 into 1 is a 4. 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2 is a 4. So y of 0 is equal to 4. Therefore, y of 0 is equal to 4. Okay, my dear students. One value we got. Because it is a discrete function. The previous examples yesterday we already discussed about it is a continuous time function wherever it is a overlap we are seeing it. but here at particular instant of times at minus two at minus one and zero one two and the three okay my dear students and multiply where the minus two and uh, minus two of uh, x of n and h of minus n and so on okay then 
find at n is equal to 1. At n is equal to 1. And n is equal to or at n is equal to 1. What is the y of 1 is equal to sum of k equal to minus infinite infinite x of k h of n minus k. We write this as also when y of 1 is equal to sum of k equal to minus infinite infinite x of k h of 1 minus k. Now I am adding 1 to the minus k. Previously, 0. Okay, my friends. 1 minus k. 1 minus k means the previous value what we have here, h of minus 1, we can add 1 and shift it towards the right side. Okay. One sample. One sample is shifted towards the right side. Okay. Now I am drawing the h of 1 minus k. See here, minus 2, it now it gets at minus 1. Minus 1 in value is at the 0. And the 0 value is at 1. And the 1 value is at the 2. So one sample is shifted towards the right side. So it is a minus 1, 1, 2 and 1 minus 2 now it is a 0 minus 1 is a minus 1 the 0 the 0 value is a 1 and 1 value is a 2 and the 2 value is a 1 Okay, 3 is a 0. So, one sample is only shifted. 1, 1, 2, 1. 1, 1, 2, 1. So, the minus 1. Minus 1, 1, 2 and 1. One sample is ahead. Minus 1, 1, 2 and 1. Now, it is multiplied with the x values. What is the x? x is the same. Nothing is a difference is the x value. So, y of n is equal to. At minus 2, there is also 0. 0 into 0 plus at minus 1 x is a 0 and h is now the minus 1 plus and at the 0 what is the x value either the 1 okay 1 1 into 1 into 1 x value is a 2 and here it is a 2 so 2 into 2 2 into 2 plus at 2 the value is a 1 and here at 2 the value is a 3 so 1 into 3 plus and at 3 here the 0 here it is a 1 so 1 into 0 1 into 0 so now I can add all the values of 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4 plus 3 plus 0. So you get the 3 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 1 is a 7. So what is the y of 1 is a 7 minus 2. Y of n we got as a 7. Similarly, at n is equal to 2, n is equal to 2 means uh, now you can add the h of uh, 2 minus k. So again, it is a shifted one sample. Minus 2 is a 0. Now, now the minus 1 is also 0. At 0, the value will get it the minus 1. And 1 is a 1. 2 is a 2. 3 is a 1. So, minus 1, 1, 2 and 1. Shifted values. Okay. So, y of 2 is equal to, now the value is the sum of uh, k equal to minus infinite infinite x of k 
h of 2 minus k h of 2 minus k shifting towards the right side only minus minus okay now at minus 2 the value is a zero and minus 1 is also zero now at the zero value here there is a x value is a 1 2 3 1 1 into minus 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 into 2 plus 1, 2, 3, 1. Okay, my dear students. So 1, 2, 3, 1. 1 into 1. Okay. So minus 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1. So add the 0. There is a 1 here there. Here minus 1. So 1 into minus 1. At 1, there is a 2 and here it is a 1. So 2 into 1. At 2, the x value is a 3 and h of 2 minus k is a 2. So you can multiply the 3 into 2. And at, at n is equal to 3, x value is a 1 and h of 2 minus k is also 1. So minus 1 minus 1 get cancelled, the value is 8. So therefore y of 2 is equal to 8. Y of 2 is equal to 8. Okay, my dear students. Again, this value, the next value is so h of uh, 2 minus k is now it is h of minus 3 minus k. Okay, at n is equal to 3. So y of 3 is equal to sum of k equal to minus infinite infinite uh, x of k h of 3 minus k. What is the h of 3 minus k? The value is h of 3 minus k at 0 is also now the minus 2 minus 1 all the values is a 0 minus 2. Now it starts at the 1. 1 is a minus 1. Okay. The values is 1 minus 1 1 2 1. Minus 1 1 2 1. Okay. 2 3 and 4. What is the x of uh, k, my dear students? So x of k, you can write there is no any change in the x of k. For minus 2 is a 0, minus 1 is a 0, 0 is a value 1, 2, 3, 1. Here the 0 is a 1, 1 is a 2, 2 is a 3. And 3 is a 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. Now multiply. Here the 0 is there. At 0, the value is 1. 1 into now the h value is a 0 there. And at 1, the x value is a 2. And the h value is a minus 1. Plus, at 2, the x value is a 3. And the value is a 1. 3 into 1. Plus, and it is 3, the value is 1 and the 2. 1 and the 2. Okay. Now it is a minus 2, 3 and the 2. The value is a 3. So y of 3 is equal to 3. Okay, my dear students. A similar way, at n is equal to 4. What is the value y of 4 is equal to sum of k equal to minus infinite infinite x of k h of 4 minus k. Now again, one sample is shifted. The h of 4 minus k, the one sample is shifted towards the right side only. The 0. In now the 1 is also 0 minus 1. So 0 is a 0, 1 is also 0. And the 2 is minus 1, 3 is 1, 4 is 2, and 5 is 1. Okay, now multiply the values. At 0 here, 0, there is no any value here, the 0, that is a value 0. There is no any value at the 1, that is also 0. And 2, 3 values only we have. What is a 2? 3 into minus 1. 
because the value of uh, x is at the two, the three, and here is a minus one plus the value at the three, the one and one. So one into one. The remaining all the values is a zero because if the four is a zero, zero into two is a zero, and five is a zero, zero into one is a zero minus two. So minus three into one, minus three plus one. Therefore, y of four is equal to what is the y of four? Minus two. Y of four is minus two. And finally, at n is equal to five. What is n is equal to five? Y of phi is equal to sum of uh, k equal to minus infinite to infinite x of k h of phi minus k. Now again, it can shift one sample towards the right side. Again, I will shift the one sample right side. Zero is a zero. One is a zero. Now here the two is also zero minus. Two. What is a three? Three is minus one. Four is a one. Five is two, and six is one. The value is a h of um, five minus k. Five minus k. Now multiply these two functions uh, at particular instants. Uh, zero is a zero. One is a zero. Two is a zero for h values. But the three here is one, and here is a minus one. So one into minus one. The value is a minus one. So y of five is equal to minus one. Okay, my dear students. In the starting itself, I explained that. Uh, so y of five, we we find out, uh, and what I said, the x of n having the values is a. Uh, Starting with the zero, the arrow mark. What are the values there? X values. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, and one. These are the values we given for the x. H of n values. H of n values is given. One to one minus one. One, two, one, and minus one. So listen carefully, my dear students. After getting the y of n convolution, y of n, I will explain an interesting topic. How we got this y of n? Doing the convolution shifting, we shift adding one value. And shifting towards the right side, adding one value, shifting towards the right side, is a simple multiplication only. In the elementary school, we did that multiplication. That multiplication value only this one. That is very interesting. We'll get. Okay, these are the values is given. What is the lowest indices I told the y of n? X of n is uh, varies from the zero, one, two, three. The zero to three is a range. Intervals and h value is zero two three and h value is one two one minus one zero one two minus one two two. Okay, what is the y of n? Y of n interval is y of n interval is zero plus minus one. So it starts minus one two three plus two five. Okay, so no need to find the y of yeah, n is equal to six minus two. Previously, we find starting at n is equal to zero onwards. N is equal to zero, one, two, three, four, and five. But here, see, it starts from the minus one. Minus one. Minus one means at n is equal to minus one. What is the function? The minus one sum of uh, k equal to minus infinite to infinite uh, x of k h value getting the minus one minus k minus one minus k means uh, h of minus k. This is h of minus y. This value shifted towards the left side minus. 
this value is shifted towards the left side. Got it, my dear friends? Uh, left side. Because we are adding the negative values. When we are adding the positive values, you can shift towards the right side. And we are adding the negative values, shift towards the left side. So what is the left side value? Here itself, I will do that one. The H of minus one and minus K. The towards the right side, towards the left side. So one will get at the zero, zero will get at the minus one and minus one will get the minus two and minus two will get at the minus three. So you start at the minus three. That minus three is minus one and minus two is one. Minus one is a two. And zero is one. And what is the one value of the two, whatever we have, one. So one sample is shifted towards the left side. Now this multiplied with the X of N. X of N. At N is equal to minus one. What is the value here? There is no any value in the minus three here in the X of N. That is a zero into zero. There is no any value in the minus two. That is also zero into something here. And at minus one, there is no any value at uh, minus one, <coughs> but only the value at uh, zero here and here also the zero. But one value, uh, H value is a zero, at two value, H value is a zero, at three value, H value is a zero. So only there is a two values at uh, n is equal to zero, one into one. So y of minus one, is equal to one into one. That is y of minus one is equal to one. Okay, my dear students. So now we can write the sequence. Y of minus one is equal to one. So I will remove here this one. No need to write. What is the equations? Y of n is equal to, it starts at the minus one. What is a minus one value we got? At y of minus one, one value and y of zero, n is equal to zero, the values of four. One and four, okay. One, four, three, the four will get at the zero, my dear students. So it means give the arrow mark it here. Okay, arrow mark is at four. And what is the value at n is equal to one? n is equal to one, we got the seven. n is equal to two, the value is eight. Seven, eight. And n is equal to three, the value is a three. n is equal to four minus two. Three minus two minus one. Three minus two minus one. Now see, the lower limit is at minus one and upper limit is at the five. Minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So for the given values of X of N and H of N, we got the Y of N is equal to these values. Now I told after completion of the completing of all the convolution finding of Y of N is equal to X of N and H of N for verification. For verification, these are very important. For verification, and it is also interesting, my dear student. For verification, see what the values is given: one, two, three. One is the x values, and multiply with the h values: one, two, one minus one. Okay, simple multiplication: one into minus minus one into minus one, one minus one. Minus one into minus three, not the minus three, into three is minus three. Minus one into two, minus two. Minus one into one, minus one. And now second value, one into one, one, one into three, three, one into two, two, one into one is a one. And with all two value, one into two, two, two into three, six, two into four, 
2 into 2 4 and 2 into 1 is a 2 and the last value is also 1 so 1 into 1 1 1 into 3 2 and 1 now add all these values minus 1 3 minus 3 and 1 is minus 3 and minus 1 is a minus 2 and here the minus 2 minus 2 get cancelled is a 3 3 and minus 1 minus 1 get cancelled is a 8 and here the value is a 3 4 7 8 here it is a wrong we got and it is a 2 into 2 is a 4 and 1 these are the values we got 1 4 7 8 3 minus 2 minus 1 is a 7 actually it is a 8 minus students let us see there is a wrong we got at the n is equal to 1 that we can see that n is equal to 1 at n is equal to 1 here 4 3 plus 1 is there my dear students 4 3 1 and it's a 8 addition is wrong i did the addition is wrong already we wrote the 1 plus 4 is a 5 5 plus 3 is a 8 okay and this value is also 8 my dear students 8 okay got it finally what is the values uh, for the y of n the multiplication of the two functions only multiplication of the two functions okay so in the online if they given these type of numbers x of n and h of n what is the convolution okay there it's a limited time is there for that you can multiply that like this and write the values of uh, 1, 4, 8, 8, and 3, minus 2, and minus 1. But here, one confusion is there. Where you have to keep the arrow mark? Where we have to keep the arrow mark? In the verification method. We know the 1, 4, 8, 8, 3, minus 2, minus 1. Where it is a value is a 0. At n is equal to 0. That arrow mark, you have to keep that at x of n. The arrow, before the arrow of x of n is a 0. There is no any value set the before the values of x. And before the arrow mark of h values is a 1. 0 plus 1. Value is a 1. So you can keep the arrow mark of y of n after one sample. Okay, my dear students. If they give n, suppose uh, x of n is equal to x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, and 1. The arrow mark is now here itself. The h of n is the same. How many number of samples are there before the arrow mark of x of n? The 2. So 2 plus 1, what is the value? Is a 3. So after the 3, 1, 2, 3, after the 3, you can keep the arrow mark. Understood, my dear students. So like that, you can keep the arrow marks in the y of n. When, whenever if they given these values in the online, it takes a there it is a limited time to find out the convolution without doing all these things. Okay, what we did, uh, it start from the n is equal to 0, n is equal to minus 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 up to so on. It takes a more time. In the external examination point of view, there is a 7 marks and 8 marks question. It is sufficient. But there, the 7 marks is given. Don't write this one. Verification method. They will give the 0. This is only for the verification method only. Another verification is also there. That verification, my dear students, is the first one. 1, 4, 8, 8. This is the 7, not the 7, my dear students. You can change this as 8. Now we got the y of n and the y of n is both the same. What is another verification? The sum of y is equal to sum of x and sum of h. What is the sum of y? You can add all the samples here. 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 8, 13. 13 plus 8, 21. 21 plus 3, 24. 24 and the minus 2, 22. And the 22 minus uh, 1, 21. The y of n value is a 21 is z equal to. What is the sum of x? 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is a 7. And 1 plus 2 is a 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 minus 1 is a 3. 
So seven threes. What is the seven threes? The sum of x and two. It is a multiplication. Seven threes twenty one. Twenty one is equal to twenty one. Okay. Now we got the whatever the values we got. Suppose it is seven. We we got. Okay. Without doing this verification, the seven we wrote uh, the wrong there. Seven means uh, it becomes of twenty twenty one. But here in the left hand side, it is a twenty one. It is not satisfied. These also we can. Verify whenever you can complete your convolution by using the graphical representation of the discrete time signals. For the discrete time signals only, my dear students, got it. So now you will get the interest. So is there something interest? Is a multiplication values only? We got uh, the y of n. The y of n is z equal. To Simple answers. That is a simple multiplication. One multiplication, second multiplication, three multiplication. Okay, got it, my dear students. So very interesting. You see, here also they will get the same answer. After doing all this, we already did this one. Finally, one four eight eight three minus two and minus. Okay, my dear students. You can do the more examples. Sir. You can take anything, or otherwise, uh, you see that arrow mark is shifted towards the right side. Arrow mark is shifted towards the left side, and verify the values. You get the same values, but the arrow mark you have to keep there where it is a uh, in the y of n, where it is a uh, in the y of n values. Okay. Now. Another example here to find the convolution in the discrete. So one zero five and one minus two. One zero five, the discrete value. And remaining uh, all it is a uh, continuous time only. So find the convolution of x of t given that is a mu of t plus one. And h of t is a mu of t minus two. T minus two. So using these values, so mu of t plus one and the mu of t minus two. Give me this. I will explain here. Another example in the continuous time signals. The continuous time signal they given x of t is equal to mu of t plus one and h of t is given mu of t minus two. Okay, it's the same thing. Once so again, you can see that is a value is the same or not? T minus two and t plus one. Okay. T plus one and the T minus two. Now, first of all, you can draw the graphical representation of mu of T plus one. T plus one. Before that, uh, we know the mu of T. Mu of uh, T is a step function. It varies from the zero to infinite uh, with the variable of T. Magnitude is one. Mu of T plus one. T plus one means uh, plus value is advanced function. Okay, we start from the minus one. Advanced mu of t plus one. Actually, it starts at the zero because it is advanced function. It starts at the minus one. Okay, the value is varies with the t, and h of is x of t minus two. This is x of t. X of t is equal to, and h of t. What is the h of t is equal to mu of uh, t minus two. So this is a step signal is delayed with the two samples. Delayed means towards the right side. With the two samples starts from the two. Even here the magnitude is the same. What is the magnitude is a one only, and here also the magnitude is a one. What you have to do for the given after the 
graphical representation taken by from the x of k and h of p the first step is a folded function folded function what is a folded function h of minus t h of minus t means it is a folded function it starts at the if only at the zero only because it is a h of minus t is not the h of minus of minus t okay is a folded at the zero the one value and the minus two value will get it here this one total positive value you get at the negative value and total negative values you get at the positive values t now multiply these two there is no any overlap in the, the multiplications here it starts at the minus two and it starts at the minus one there is no any overlap in okay so at n is equal to i'm nothing but the t is equal to at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 so what is the y of t y of t is also 0 because there is no any overlapping to draw this one it starts at the minus 1 and you can multiply this it starts at the mi minus 2 and here it is a minus 1 now at t is equal to 1 you can add 1 at t is equal to 1 what it is a h of a, h of my 1 minus t 1 minus t when you can add 1 means shift it towards the right side so you'll get at the minus 1 so minus 2 so now you can see the overlapping here at minus 1 there is a minus 1 and the minus 1 is also 1 but here also the y of t is equal to 0 because the integral y of t is equal to integral because at the minus 1 to 1 the magnitude is 1 dt is equal to t with upper limit is a 1 lower limit is a minus 1 here a minus 1 only upper limit is minus 1 and lower limit is also minus 1 so minus 1 minus of minus 1 is a plus that's a 0 so at t is equal to 1 also the value is a 0 so that is y of 1 is equal to 0 now at t is equal to 2 that is again shifting towards the right side at the 0 okay my dear student shifting towards the right side means the value is at the 0 minus 1 minus 2 and the 0 so where it is overlapping at the sphere here the minus 1 to the 0 and here also minus 1 to the 0 so what is the area here y of 2 is equal to what is the varies from minus 1 to the 0 minus 1 to the 0 it is a overlapping at the sphere okay the overlapping is at minus 1 and the 0 because here also the value minus 1 and the 0 1 into t dt is equal to t with upper limit is a 0 lower limit is a minus 1 so upper limit minus of minus 1 is a plus the value is a 1 so y of 2 is equal to 1 y of 2 is equal to 1 again you can shift towards the right side and t is equal to 2 t is equal to 3 t is equal to 3 what is the y of 3 now y of 3 is equal to means it is shifting towards the 1 so what is the value see minus 1 to the 3 minus 1 to the not the 3 uh, 3 minus 1 to the 1 so what is the limitations here minus 1 to 1 1 into dt again we will get the t with the lower limit is a 1, upper limit is a minus 1, 1 and lower limit is a minus 1. So 1 minus of minus 1 will get the 2. So y of 3 is equal to 2. And again t is equal to 4, shifted towards the right side. Means we will get at the 2. So minus 1 into 2, minus 1, minus 1 into 0, minus 1 to minus 1. See the limitations is also changes here. It starts at the minus one only because x of uh, 
t is minus 1. So minus 1 to minus 1, minus 1 to 0, minus 1 to 1. Then next value is minus 1 to 2. That t is equal to 4. That t is equal to 4. The limitation is minus 1 to 3. The one value is reduces here. So 2, not that one value. Here all the minus 1 to 1. Now the minus 1 to the 2. 1 into d. So upper limit is a 2. Lower limit is a minus 1 into minus 1 is a plus 3 value. So y of 4 is equal to 3. And t is equal to 5. Here it is a minus 1 into 3. 1 into d. That value is a 3 plus 1 is a 4. So value of 5 is equal to 4. It is increases so on. Still it is a moving towards the right side. It is a so on the value is increases only. Okay. Up to the value of the infinite. T is equal to infinite. T is equal to infinite. What is the T is equal to infinite minus 1 to? It reduces of two values. All infinite minus 2. Infinite minus 2. So 1 into dt. That is equal to infinite minus 2 minus of minus 1 is a plus. So that is equal to infinite minus 1. What is the y of infinite? Infinite is equal to minus infinite minus 1. So one value is reduces. At t is equal to 5, the value is a 4. At t is equal to 4, the value is a 3. So what is the y of uh, t value in the graphical representation now? The continuous time only. See, at t is equal to 0, the value is a 0. 0 and t is equal to 1 also 0. 1 also the 0. Now, at t is equal to 2 onwards, it increases 1, 2, 3 and so on. Increases at t is equal to 2, and slowly it is increases at t is equal to 2, 1, 1 value here, and at t is equal to 3, the value is at 2, at t is equal to 4, the value is 5. Is a value is a t is equal to one and at three is equal to three is a two at t is equal to four the value is a three. You get the staircase minus two minus. and five four so and so on like this. It's a continuous time function. The five six and so on and last value the infinite value it is an infinite minus one. The staircase. So on the value 4. At 5, you get the 4. At 6, you'll get the 5. And the infinite value, it is an infinite minus 1. Got it, my dear students? Let us see in the example here. See, slowly it is increases. So 0 and 1 and the 2, and the 3, and the 4, and so on. All the values. Okay. Yeah, then actually, you have to draw that in the linear only. But here, we don't know. So, see that uh, it's not the staircase management. Sorry. The values is increases. At 2, the value, and t is equal to 0. And the 3 is 1, 3, 4, it is value, 4 is value, slope. Why it is not the staircase means we don't know the value in between of 1 and the 2. It is also increases, but it is not the con constant. In between of the t and 4 and 5, you can take the 4.5. 4.5 means it values or it chooses 1, 3.5. 3.5 again, it is increases only, but it is not the constant minus experience. What we did in the Last, it is not the staircase, sorry, it is a linearly increases. Okay, linearly increases. So on. Understood?
So graphical representation. See the y condition is y of t is equal to zero for t is less than or equal to zero, and y of t is a t minus one. So one value is reduces when the t is equal to one, we'll get the zero, and t is equal to two, we'll get the one. So t minus one. So this is a condition we got uh, after the finding out the convolution between of x of t mu of t plus one and the mu of r t minus two. What is the y of t? The zero for t less than or equal to zero, and the y of t t greater than zero is a t minus one. Every time the t is increases, the y of t is also increases. This correspondingly, got it minus twenty. Then. Next example. The x of t and h of t. X of t is given from zero to two is a one. Magnitude is a one, and the zero to three, the h of t is a magnitude is a one. The first of all, you can see that the h of t becomes of h of tau, and x of t is x of tau. The folded function, total negative or positive values will get in the negative values. Okay, at t is equal to zero, means at t is equal to zero here. Now there is no any overlapping here. It starts at the zero and hit the zero. The value is a zero only. And shifting towards the right side, the range is zero to one value shifted towards the right side. Zero to one. Zero to one. There will be limitations at one. At t is equal to one, zero to one. At t is equal to two, zero to two. At t is equal to three, zero to two. At t is equal to four, one into two, and so on. Why it is a one? There is a overlapping occurs here itself. Following my instructions, see here there is no any change there until after the two function. Until after the two function. See the overlapping is where one step ahead. It is from minus two to the one, minus two to the one, and one step ahead, minus one to the two, and still a one step ahead, zero to three. Still a one have one step ahead means one to four. Still a other one one step ahead, two to five. Still you can go for the three to five. There is no any more. All right, zero to one, and the zero to two. Next is a zero to three, zero to two, and then one is a one into two, and five. There is no any overlap. So after that, we'll get the values. So draw a graphical representation. It is not the staircase, my dear students. Once again, I'm saying it is a slope. Then it is a constant. There is a slope here. All right. See how we'll explain the values. See here. So we we'll draw here the h of minus one. At the first case, there is no any overlapping. At t is equal to zero, the y of t is also the zero. At t is equal to one means this value t is equal to one. T is equal to one. It is a shifting of one sample, my dear students. I will draw here. Shifting of one sample means it starts from the minus two and will get up to the minus two, minus one, zero, and one. Up to this value only. See here, zero to two, and here the zero to zero to minus two to the one. Where it is overlapping, zero to one only. Zero to one. See here, the limitation is a zero to one. At this, the value is a one. So y of one is equal to one. Again, if the t is equal to two, t is equal to two means this is a one value shifted towards the right side. Is a value is of y h of one minus tau. Then I am writing the h of 
2 minus tau. So one sample. One sample means it starts from the minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0, then after 1 and the 2. So 0, 1 and the 2. If the arrow mark it is here itself, my students. The arrow mark is here. There is no need of the value minus 1. And here also the arrow mark shows at the 0. So overlapping is here. Now what is the overlapping? 0 to 2 there. Here also 0 to 2. So at t is equal to 0 to 2, the value is a 2. So at t is equal to 2, but the value of y of 2 is a 2. Okay. Then again, you can skip this at the t is equal to 3. Towards the right side of it, Towards the right side. Okay. Don't write this uh, before itself. Uh, one sample ahead. One sample. One sample means it starts at the 0. 1, 2 and 3. Is n set the 3. So here you will get the arrow. So now comparing with the x value. x value is a 0 to 2 only. 0 to 2. And here also the 0 to 2. But t is equal to also 0 to 2. The value is a 2 only. y of 3 is also the 2. Because still there is an overlapping of the c the 0 to 2 only. Here also the 0 to 2. Got it, my dear students. Then, see for y is equal to 4, t is equal to 4. t is equal to 4 means this is the shifted towards the right side. Okay, don't write the before itself for the arrow mark here. Shifted towards the right side means it starts from the 1. 1, 2, 3, and the 4. One sample ahead. 0 is now here itself. 1, 2, 3, and the 4. Now, what is the overlapping for the x value? x value is only from the 0 to 2 only. Now, it is a 1 and 2. 1 and 2. t is equal to 4. The y value is 1 and 2. Integral 1 and the 2, 1 into dt. So, 2 minus 1, the value is 1. So, y of uh, 4 is equal to 1. Y of 4 is equal to 1. Still, it is a t is equal to 5. You can shift it towards the right side. It starts at the 2. 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, n value is a 5. 2, 3, 4, and the 5. Because n value is a 4, 3, 2, and 1, so on like this. 2. What is the range of here? The x value is 0 to 2 only. So, the limitation of y is a 2 to 2. 1 into dt. 2 to 2 means a 2 minus 2 is a 0. So y of 5 is equal to 0. So what are the values here? t is equal to 0. The y value is a 0. See here. t is equal to 0. The y value is 0. t is equal to 1. y value is a 1. 1 here. And t is equal to 2. What is the value of uh, y of uh, 2? The value is a 2. This is a 1 and this is a value is a 2. And t is equal to 3 also, the value is a 2 only, it is a constant. Now, what is a 4? 4 is a 1, decreases. And 5 is a 0. Now, the graphical representation will get as a 0, 1, 2, 2. Here, the value is a 1, 2 value, 2 value, and the 1 and the 0. What it matters, students? Like that, you can find out the convolution for continuous and the discrete. Whenever the first step is fix the value of x value and the h value is folded function. Then after shift towards the right side by adding the values of t is positive values. If you can add the negative values of t, you can shift towards the left side and see what is the final value and what is the initial value and draw the graphical representation of a continuous and the discrete also. Here the discrete is there. Discrete function. Okay. We do it in a tomorrow class. I will explain this in the discrete values. It's a very interesting discrete values.
and the convolution. So only the two examples are there in the convolution. And remaining, uh, you can see the for examples of correlation one or two. The one examples, uh, problems of autocorrelation, the cross correlation. The two examples are there. And uh, the last topic we have, that is uh, extraction of signal from the noise by filtering. Tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we can close this uh, fourth unit management. Any questions? Okay, thank you.